welcome back to my channel Today on Tarta Vlogs, I'm going to be doing a story time, which I've been asked to do this quite often, but I don't do it. I don't know. So here we go. We're going to do a story time about the time I was, I was almost kidnapped. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, this is a story time about the time I was almost kidnapped. Okay, guys. So um, when I was six years old I lived in Wisconsin with my mom and uh, it was a very very small town um, literally so small like everyone knew each other kind of small and uh, well um, I would walk home to school walk home from school uh, it wasn't very far um, but they had like a one they had like a specific way that you should walk home because of main roads they try to have us avoid main roads um, so anyways, I decided to go a different way because I thought it was faster. And so I was walking and I got to an intersection, which was a very, very big intersection. And, um, I waited for it to say it was my turn to walk and, um, it said walk. So I started going and all of a sudden this lady gets out of her car and tells me to come to her car as I'm halfway across the street. And I look at her and I remember thinking, Oh my gosh, this, this lady is trying to kidnap me. So I turned around and I took off running as faster than I've ever ran before. And I remember running up to the crosswalk lady, crying my eyes out. I was freaking out because, you know, I almost got kidnapped, you know, and I explained to the lady what happened. She calls the principal out on the walkie talkie. The principal comes out. I explained to her what happened and then they call the cops. Now, like I said, this is a very small town. So, um, the cops came, they spoke to me and then they took me with them back to the station and they had me like look out the front window to see if the cops, like to see if I could see the car that tried to kidnap me. So the police station was this little building. It reminds me of literally like, um, an old movie. It was a little building that, I don't know, literally... Okay, it was a very small police station, guys. So I sat in front, I looked out the window, and I waited to see if I saw the car that tried to kidnap me. I did not. My mom eventually came to pick me up and bring me home. Later that night, the police show up at our door and they tell us that they have found someone and, or no, the blah, blah, blah. Later that night, the police show up at our door and tell us that they found the person who tried to kidnap me. So, me and my mom go with the police officer in their car and they take us to what was like a baseball field, like where kids, you know, baseball teams would play and stuff. Not like professional, but like little, little league practices and stuff. And, um, we get out and we're walking up and I see the lady who tried to kidnap me and I freak out and I like start pulling on the police officer's shirt or my mom's shirt. And I'm like, that's the person who tried to take me. And I'm freaking out. And the cop's like, I know, I know, calm down. And then we walk up to her and I'm sitting here like, why are we going up to her like it's no big deal? She tried to kidnap me. And um, well, Whoa. turns out she was a teacher at the school and I was walking home the wrong way. So she was trying to tell me to come here so she could tell me that I need to go back and go the other way because that's always too dangerous. She was a teacher from the school and I thought she was kidnapping me. She, it basically came out to where she heard because small town she heard what was going on that someone tried to kidnap Help someone she realized that it was me and that it was her that i thought was her trying to kidnap me and so she called the police and was like hey here's the story and then i'll be here tonight if you want to meet me or whatever so anyways here i am a six-year-old thinking i'm being kidnapped freaking out when all along she was just trying to help me and now i still remember after that day at the school uh we would like it was like this joke now you know like i don't know she she was really sweet lady i don't even know but 
Oh, I, I cannot believe I thought I was being kidnapped. It was the craziest thing ever. I just remember being so scared. Um, but yeah, so that's the story of when I thought I was being kidnapped. If you want more story times, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe and comment below and let me know. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Everyone who comments on this video saying you're from TikTok, comment your TikTok name below and I will write your name on my shirt. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Bye.